Everybody who's ever watched a television trial understands that there are two parts, at least, although lawyers know there are many more parts. Uh, one is the presentation of the case, and then later at the end of the trial, the lawyer has an opportunity to summarize the case. And at that point, rhetorical restraints are loosened a little bit, where the, where the lawyer is no longer uh, simply presenting all the facts and the relevant legal theory, but is also uh, has a chance to really say what's on his or her mind. And increasingly, pictures are used as uh, accompaniments to these final arguments. Formally, a lawyer would stand up and give a basically oral presentation, sometimes using pictures that had been introduced during the evidentiary phase, sometimes using props, but mainly relying on the traditional rhetor skills of voice, body language, gesture, and position in the courtroom. Increasingly, more and more of closing argument is taking place on courtroom screens, sometimes giant courtroom screens, twice the size of the speaker. <laughs> and on those screens, ju the judge and jurors may see a continuing, running performance of hundreds of slides. Sometimes these slides operate as a kind of theatrical backdrop where the main attention remains on the lawyer's speech. Sometimes those slides present key elements of evidence, call-outs from documents, excerpts from video clip. What pictures do when they are used so pervasively and so flexibly throughout the closing argument is that they enable lawyers to a much greater extent than ever before to argue without necessarily arguing explicitly because pictures, much more so than words alone, can make meaning via showing and via alluding without necessarily saying.